Okay, so here's something interesting. A design flaw with these uh, Whelan PAR46 light heads. And you often hear people complaining about Whelan light heads in general, that they get water in them and become waterlogged. Uh, it's kind of been the reputation that they're expensive products but not very reliable. So this is uh, obviously meant to be the, the replacement LED bulb for the Unity Spotlights, which would take a regular PAR46 halogen bulb. R46 being the size standard. Unity does make their own, which looks a little bit different. I have not had one of those, so I haven't really looked at one closely. But uh, you tend to see these being installed because they're just a bit cheaper to buy and put in, rather than ordering the spotlight from Unity with their LED and paying significantly more for it. Now, um, I started noticing water and moisture getting into here. So obviously I took the thing apart, sealed it with silicone, closed it, moisture still got in. I suspected the micropores gland at the back here, which is... The premise behind it is that it's supposed to let out any humidity or whatever that may get trapped in there, but if the thing was constructed properly in the first place, why would, why would there be anything in there? Um, also, interestingly enough, this has all been... Uh, well, the back bolts here have been potted in resin. So we can't take the uh, surface mount board out. Uh, but the, the, all the components have been uh, sealed in resin. So it's almost like they built this knowing that there's a chance of moisture getting in here. Um, but still a, a nice touch nonetheless. And apparently it is static sensitive, so yeah. Now, the problem actually is uh, the, the, this paint. It's kind of like a powder coated aluminum. You can kind of see here where it's bubbling up. So all it takes is one tiny little nick or something to wear away and then the moisture gets in behind the paint layer, that's the problem. And it wicks in behind around the seal and gets in there and as uh, the temperature gradient changes, the, the, air, the uh, moisture condenses on the inside of the lens. So here's a little more dramatic example. You can see this is aluminum and it's uh, you've got all this calcification here. Probably uh, we're just coming out of winter now, so a lot of this was probably due to the salts in the air that are put on the road and that get into the moisture and kicked up in front of the vehicle. But the rain in general, you're just getting in there and uh, corroding away at this aluminum. And as I say, it gets in behind the paint layer. That's the key. So no matter how much silicone you gob on here, you're only sealing above the paint line, okay? So you can see here where I kind of scratched it out. That's really going to be the solution to cut along here and expose the metal so that when I reapply silicone, it's going to really seal up. And then any water that comes from the outside is going to hit the silicone. Otherwise, it's just getting underneath the, the paint and seeping into the light head and then condensing on the inside. <laughs> so that's, that's what the problem is, and that's the only foreseeable solution I can think of. Uh, still not sold on this microporous vent at the back. I'm probably going to gob that up with silicone too. Um, yeah, so I would, I would stay away from these. For that particular reason and if you are experiencing this problem know that that's the solution you're gonna have to get something scratch along here uh, break the the seal and the paint this I'm probably gonna touch up with some spray paint just to uh, seal it all up clean all this crap off but uh, yeah so as I say I have to break the seal cut around here reapply silicone and the silicone will be sticking to the exposed aluminum and, uh, and not the paint so there you have it. And part number on these, if you're interested. Oh, there is no part number. Ah, here it is. That's what it is, but they're just called the PAR46. This is the 2 degree beam version. Uh, they also come in 8 degree, so kind of a bit more of a floodlight sort of deal. That looks a bit different, but uh, yeah, there you go.